Hello guys, I am Rituraj, a computer science engineering student at VIT Valor. I would be your course, instru course instructor for the module 1 of our course uh, Statistics for Engineers. So module 1 is basically introduction to statistics. We would be dealing with topics and uh, materials which you have already learned uh, in your school days. It's just a gear up and recap to your uh, previous uh, modules uh, which you have learned in the school. So uh, the first, very first topic is measures of central tendencies. There are basically five kind of uh, central tendencies: arithmetic mean, median, mode, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. But we would be mostly dealing with the first three: arithmetic mean, median, and mode. So without wasting time, let us move to mean. How do we find mean? So uh, there are uh, various type of data given to you for finding mean. The very first kind is raw data. How is raw, raw, uh, raw data defined? Like uh, there would be uh, observations given to you like 70, uh, 80, 95, 102 and so on. Many data can be given. What you need to do is just add those numbers. That would give you summation of x like this. And then count them. Like if we take only 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 observations then uh, divided by 4 you'll get your mean, arithmetic mean. The second kind of uh, distribution given is discrete frequency distribution. In this type of distribution, you would be given variable value x1, x2, x3 uh, and 2xk uh, and their frequencies f1, f2 to fk. Then how would you find the arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean would be the summation of the uh, variable values and their respective frequencies like x1 into f1 plus x2 into f2 plus f, uh, x2, uh, x3 into f3 and so on till whatever you are given like this then divide it by total frequency what is total frequency here you would add these f1 plus f2 to fk fk is something which would be the last value like there are six values given then f1 f2 f3 to f6 then you uh, add them that would be capital n then divide the summation by capital n you, you would get your arithmetic mean the third kind of uh, data is continuous frequency distribution uh, so here uh, sigma of x uh, fx so that is summation of fx is sum of product of mid values of class intervals and the corresponding frequencies this concept would be more clear when uh, we hop on to problem solving i'll tell you uh, in detail about that in problem solving now next up we have combined arithmetic mean like you you would be given two arithmetic means x1 and x2 bar and uh, two cds n1 and n2 of observations then what would be the combined arithmetic mean then combined arithmetic mean would be given by the formula n1 into mean of x1 plus n2 into mean of x2 divided by n1 plus n2 that is total observation is of 1 and 2 that would be simple very simple w weighted arithmetic mean uh, suppose uh, the weight assigned uh, to the variables uh, x1 x2 to xn uh, would be and w1 w2 to wn respectively then how would you find the arithmetic mean of these weighted value you need not to do much just uh, uh, write the summation of products of variables value and their corresponding uh, variable weight like x1 into w1 plus x2 into w2 plus x3 into w3 till xn into wn that would be uh, the numerator and what would be the de denominator denominator would be sum of the weights w1 plus w2 plus w3 till wn this is how you have to do now let us see some problems so the type 1 uh, problem is uh, um, problem based on raw data uh, see I told you that uh, uh, you would be given uh, random numbers random variables uh, the main thing is uh, the heights are given okay 10 heights are given uh, see like 120 115 140 141 so on T uh, 10 values are given then how would you find the mean we, we uh, know the formula uh, that uh, for uh, raw data mean is uh, summation of uh, the observations by the number of observations so uh, when we add these numbers what would be the summation the summation would be 1 2 8 5 and the number of measurements that is the observation is 10 so the mean is 1 2 8 5 that is the summation of uh, the observations by the number of observation that is 10 that would result uh, 128.5 so uh, when how would you write the answer is is this answer sufficient depends upon teacher for, for being on a safer side always write a conclusion or inference in the last of your uh, uh, answer at the last of your answer 
because statistics is about concluding about uh, proper inference how you what you infer from the problem so uh, uh, write the statement the mean that is the conclusion is the mean height is 128.5 centimeters like this okay so let us move to second kind of problem that is discrete frequency distribution so uh, the following data uh, 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 the following data gives the number of children born to 350 women so how how the problem is given you are given a variable values that is x values 0 1 2 3 and so on and their frequencies number of women here the variable value is number of children and the frequency is number of women so how many women had zero children zero child 171 one child 82 two children 50 and so on so frequency is given so uh, first we need to make a table that is x x denoting the number of uh, children and y sorry not y uh, f denoting the number of women so we would make a table like this and uh, write the frequencies of each then uh, what we need to do we need to find the product of fx fx like 0 into 171 is equals to 0 1 into 82 is equals to 82 and so on at last you also write total total of the frequencies that it that is uh, the number of uh, women that would be 350 and then the total of summation of fx the products that would be three, uh, 360 uh, 356 now according to the uh, formula we have arithmetic mean is equals to summation of fx by capital n fx we have 356 and capital n is equals to 350 capital n is, n, n is nothing but the summation of the frequencies so 356 by 350 would be 1.017 that is the arithmetic mean is 1.017 now never forget to write the conclusion here the conclusion is the mean of number of children born to a woman is 1.017 always write the conclusion at last the third type of problem uh, on mean that is continuous frequency distribution um, so the following data re relates to the marks of 100 students in statistics calculate the arithmetic mean marks of the students so the x label is marks uh, and it is given in the form of continuous frequency that is the class intervals 20 30 30 40 40 50 and the number of student is what frequency so the frequencies are given like 7, 13, 20, 30 respectively. I did not have space there so I wrote the uh, last class uh, here that is 70 to 80 frequency 12 that is number of student 12. Now uh, we would be solving this by direct method. So uh, like what you have to do is you have to construct first four, uh, four columns 1, 2, 3, 4. One for marks then number of student that is frequency then mid value x, x then fx uh, i have not drawn uh, rows and columns but uh, make sure that you draw columns uh, um, properly because you draw the table properly right so 20 to 30 the frequency is 7 30 to 40 frequency is 13 and uh, likewise now the third column we need to calculate mid value that is x through the marks so how would we calculate that let's uh, see the first first class that is 20 to 30 so we would add that 30 plus 20 that is 50 divided by 2 50 divided by 2 is nothing but 25 then second one is 30 plus 40 that is 70 divided by 2 that is nothing but 35 and so on like that now see this now multiply f and x fx 7 into 25 175 13 into 7, 35, 455, 20 into 45, 900, like that. And last one, the last row is total. So total is 100 for frequency and total for fx is 5250. Now, uh, what is the uh, uh, sigma fx? Sigma fx, fx is 5250 and total frequency n is 100. So arithmetic mean is given by sigma fx divided by n. So this is what we got for uh, sigma fx and this is what we got for n. That would be 52.5. So the uh, arithmetic mean is 52.5. At last, write a statement that the average, uh, uh, but the average marks, the average frequency of marks, uh, average marks stored by, uh, scored by the students is 52.5. Right. That would be the arithmetic mean. 
now let's take another example this example is uh, like a bit different this example is very important always while solving see that the classes are inclusive like 50 to uh, 59 so see 50 to 59 and the next class is 69 to uh, 60 to 69 see 59 and 60 this is these are not same these are not same so we need to make some uh, make some changes so that we have continuous continuous uh, classes so what we will do is from the upper value of the class we would subtract minus 0 0.5 and from the uh, lower value sorry from the lower value of the class we would subtract minus 0 0.5 and from the upper value of the class we will add uh, my, my, uh, we will add 0 0.5 okay what we will do is like for this class for 50 minus 0 0.5 that would be 49.5 and 59 59 plus 0 0.5 that would be 59.5 that see there 49.5 59.5 likewise 60 minus 0 0.5 59.5 and 69 plus 0 0.5 that would be 69.5 this is how we will reconstruct the classes then we will write the frequency uh, respective frequency which are given then the mid value same as we did in the uh, previous question this plus this divided by 2 that would be this value then fx this is f and this is x multiply and then total here 70 and the here the, the total frequency would be sorry total fx value would be 6238 okay here was some correction so i did that so again finally the formula is same uh, sigma x is equals to sigma sorry uh, um, arithmetic mean is equals to sigma fx by capital N that value we will put 89.071 so this is the arithmetic mean we got so this is all for finding mean these are all possible questions which would you uh, which you would get in your cat fat or quizzes from this topic so from this class we would be starting with median